everybody. Welcome back to the Domestead. Oh, but we're not at the Domestead. We're actually at the house in the village. Um, and you, I bet you guys are wondering what we, what have we been doing since uh, Dave hasn't been putting out too many videos lately. Well, part of it was winter <laughs> and part of it was the whole pandemic thing. So since we couldn't do stuff out there, I think he just put a recent video out stating why. Um, we decided to do stuff at the house and this is one of it. This is our garden that he put up. Um, it is, I forget how big, <laughs> I don't know, 30 by 30 ish, something like that. Um, we kind of threw it together. We actually got the posts, these posts here on all four from the woods across the street. I think we, the cost of this was uh, whatever the fencing cost us, everything else we had on hand. Anyway, let me take you in. I actually am very excited about all of this because I grew all of these from seed. This is one of the first times in my life that I've actually worked this hard at a garden. I've grown from seed before. I've thrown uh, uh, starts in the ground, but this is the first time I've actually taken ownership and I'm kind of excited about it. So, And they're all doing good, so that's even better. <clears throat> so in this bed, I have a mix of Roma potato, or, I'm sorry, tomatoes and um, some beefsteak tomatoes. Um, I honestly don't know which is which because when we started moving them around, <laughs> they got mixed up. So, but they're all doing fairly well. I've been trimming them, <clears throat> trimming the bottoms so that none of the, nothing, no blight. Um, I got my marigolds because of course they help with the bugs and all of that. Over here I have pole beans. These are all doing good. Um, they're all starting to come up. Um, right on the other side of this fence, I have carrots, which if you get in close, I don't know if he's going to, you can actually see some of the tops that are just starting to come up right over there. Um, but they're really taking a, they're, they're taking their time. I'm not sure they're actually going to make it. <clears throat> um, these other tomatoes are, I think, all Romas. Um, they were the leftovers that I really, I had a little bit of space here and I wasn't really going to plant it but we had them over and I didn't want to throw them away because I couldn't do it. Um, along this end is all butternut squash and they're all doing well. And then this little corner over here is uh, zucchini. I have two types of onions that were actually gifted to me. Over 100 onions are planted um, from a friend of ours, uh, Drew. Uh, thank you, Drew. Um, so there's red zinnias, I believe they're called, and then some sort of a white. He didn't tell me which kind. And we have um, two kinds of peppers, which they're all doing fantastic. There's the um, bell peppers and then the um, uh, sweet. sweet. Oh, banana peppers. Mm -hmm. Banana peppers. That's right. Um, so that. So they're all doing really good. Sorry, we need to trim around here, but. Uh, it's all doing really good. We just did this and like I said, we threw it up because um, we were bored. <laughs> but that's not all. <laughs> but wait, there's more. So come on, follow me over here. Um, another thing we wanted to do this year was get chickens. We didn't want to wait. So we got six laying hens at our friendly tractor supply. And since we got the hens, we needed to get something to put them in. So Dave built this coop and run. So the run's about 12, 14 feet long by eight-ish feet wide. Um, again, the most of it was the cost was the fencing. We had most of the other wood on hand. Um, there's six chickens. They're all named after Grateful Dead songs. <laughs> um, and he built this coop, so. Uh, we manually put the door up and down. It's, it's big enough to hold them all. Got Right now we got water and food in there. Um, we got a small water feeder out there, which I'm going to get a bigger one. That was actually their, uh, the one that we had for when they were just chicks. Oh, and over here, we I'll show you from the other end. <laughs> their nesting box. Um, it's not bedded right now because obviously they're not laying um, but they're all doing good they're all friendly they come up to you they don't really peck you and they're fine they come on my hand and perch so kind of neat and there's a couple more things or one more thing more things 
up here we have obviously Caesar dog. He's always in, always with us. Um, I have the lettuces up here because we picked up for obviously for salads, uh, romaines, mescaline. These are all chives. Um, these are some scallions. They're not they're not really doing too good, but they're not dead, so I'm going to keep them going and see maybe transplant them. My spinach is starting to bolt. It actually started bolting really early. Um, not sure if I'm going to replant or not. Um, this was our my new gift this spring was my greenhouse so that I could start them all in. Um, and then don't look at the steps because the steps aren't done. But the deck, as I'm starting to restain. Um, so I just restained all of the floorboards and the posts. I still have to do these, um, but we're doing all of that. And the next thing is um, touching up the paint on the house and the uh, porch. Although I think we're going to have someone do this. Uh, we had a little bit of water damage and on these boards, so it really needs to be redone. And it's just something that we don't really want to tackle. Oh, there's Jewel Kitty. <laughs> it's, just, it's just something we don't really want to tackle on our own. Um, so I'm having a friend do that. Um, and that's probably going to get done in the next week or so. And then we're back, I think Dave said, we're back at the property. And we'll be getting, getting going on that. So maybe you'll see me in one of those. As always remember, peace and life is good in the Adirondacks.